I'm Travis Hill of the Oswegian Demons in the Canadian Lacrosse League, better known as Sealax. I'm here today at the Sealax Community Centre in beautiful Paris, Ontario to take you through some little bit of accuracy drills and tips for shooting in box across to improve your accuracy. As a reminder, we're going to start with our hand positioning on the stick. You want to grab the stick with your bottom hand at the very end of the shaft while placing your top hand about a third to midway up the shaft, whatever is more comfortable for you. We're going to go over foot position for your shooting accuracy. Much like shooting, make sure your feet are perpendicular to the net and as you turn, you'll create some torque with the twisting of your body for your shooting accuracy. Now when practicing uh, shooting accuracy, it's all about repetition. So make sure that when you set up targets for accuracy, that you're consistently hitting those targets. You might want to hit them maybe five times in a row before you move on to your next target. Now, if you don't have a net at home, try to find something to shoot at. You don't want to upset your parents, so don't shoot at the back of uh, your garage door or at your garage. For me, it was actually an old trailer that we had sitting behind our garage. I spray painted a net on it, leaned it against the tree, spray painted the net, and that's basically what I shot at for 15 years until I shot all the wood out of it. So make sure that you find a safe environment to practice your accuracy. And when you do practice your accuracy, you want to slow down the motion of your shot because it will give you better accuracy when shooting. Now, for your going back to the hand positioning, you may want to move your hand up a little bit further up the shaft for better accuracy. And as you get more experience and more advanced uh, uh, skills, you can be able to move your hand further down the shaft to create more power behind your accuracy. So when you're practicing accuracy, as I mentioned before, make sure that you slow down the process of how you shoot the ball. So for myself, I'm going to aim for the top right. Make sure you keep an eye on my foot position as well as my body mechanics. And as you get uh, better accuracy, you might want to increase the power on your shot. And if you're noticing you're putting too much power on your shot, then go back to the original way of how you were shooting by slowing it down and taking less power off. When practicing shooting accuracy, um, you're going to have to come up with creative ways to put yourself in certain scenarios and situations. Um, if you use your parents' household items that they're not going to be too upset about that you're going to hit with, Put those in positions in front of you and try to shoot around them. Another thing to pick up too is when you go into an arena for an away game, get used to the bounce of the floor. You also want to practice the accuracy, putting yourself in different positions around the floor, practice your accuracy that way, as well as practicing the bounce shot so you'll start to learn the bounces in different, different arenas. Now if you're in your backyard, you can use these household items. Make sure, as I mentioned before, place them in front of you and try to shoot around them, um, either with bounce shots or shoot around them with an overhand shot or even a sidearm shot. Thank you for taking the time with us today at Sealax. Be sure to check out the website, CanadianLacrosse.com, or follow us on Facebook and Twitter for all your videos, standings, league, and product information, but make sure you check out the Oswegan Demons website.